Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This time it's part 2 of Heta Vision 2017 thoughts. And um, last time we ended it with the Big 5 plus Ukraine. And we are now moving forward. Where I'm going to start talking about the trios. Here you see a picture of the magic trio. And originally back behind it is a picture of the Viking trio. I managed to accidentally ruin that. Anyways, the reason it was a picture of the Viking trio is because Scandinavia made it, guys. Think about that. All Scandinavia made it through to the finals of Eurovision, which was really impressive. And yeah, when it comes to the reason for the magic trio being shown, it's because that. Think about it. Think how happy they were knowing that all of them ended up in top 15. As far as I remember, England got 15th place. Norway got 10th and Romania got 7th and I think that's really good that the Magic Trio probably was really happy for this so the reason I had a trios was because there are some trios that got higher placed and that increased the Magic Trio and yes two out of three of the Viking Trio ended up in top 10 not sure I don't remember where Denmark ended up though so I'm gonna check that later but it didn't go so well for Denmark as I, as I thought it would be. It went better for Norway than for Denmark. And a lot of people say they preferred Denmark in front of Norway's song. So yeah. I was really pleased with seeing how well the Viking trio and the Magic trio did. Especially the Magic trio because they were all in my top 10. We're now moving forward. Oh yeah. So they don't qualify us and there's only one darn picture. And I have a, a very nice explanation for this, okay? Switzerland deserved to qualify. I was so mad. I'm still mad that Switzerland didn't make it, okay? The song Apollo by Time Bell was amazing. And it was so good. And I'm still so darn mad. Oh, I was like, why Switzerland no win or go through? Like, Switzerland used to be my second favorite. And then it kind of fell, it dropped to third because I fell for another song. But it still was extremely high up on my placing and I'm just really mad. Because it was a really good song. I said I was going to make a part 3 but I decided instead it's just going to be part 1 and part, part one and 2. Because I managed to go so darn far with part one without thinking about it so already in part two we're going to talk about my personal winner slash winners now here's the thing bulgaria sent the talented amazing christian kostov who is 17 years old and ended up getting second place italy sent the talented handsome amazing Francesco Gabbani and I love Francesco Gabbani and yeah and he held sixth place and he was really good and he had such an important message in his song so yeah Delis Karma Western's Karma and I think that was really good. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, I probably did. Like it's like those people that try to pronounce stuff from scum and then they manage to not pronounce it because they don't know the region, okay? So I understand you Italians when I say something wrong, okay? Please listen to me. And yeah. But I have an Italian flag on my uh, on one of my fingers. I was originally supposed to have Bulgarian on the other one. And um, the reason for this is like, it, there's a reason I mentioned these two, okay? It's because those two are my winners. Christine Costa and Francesco Gabbani were amazing, so therefore, congratulations to Bulgaria and Italy for sending the best song for me. I loved this songs, these two songs so much. Beautiful Mess was incredible, and he was so good, he was so powerful, he sang so great. Christine Costa sang so great. He had moves, and it really showed. Francesco Gabbani had an amazing song full of charisma and he was a charismatic character and he was on stage, sang his song to fools, danced out like he was supposed to. The gorilla did the, uh, did the gorilla's job and everything was amazing. 
and therefore these two became my winners even though Italy have always been a winner for me Italy was actually wait I'm just gonna Italy was my have been my favorite since since the first time I heard it but then then something happened I'm just gonna take that away then then I heard closer to Bulgaria's song and I was like sign me up so I ended up therefore with both of these becoming my favorite and I love 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 I'm just gonna see if I can manage to fix this Christian Kostov and Francesco Gabani I love them so yeah congratulations to those two countries for being my favorite this year but of course Congratu congratulations for the first time Portugal for winning Eurovision Song Contest 2017 with the amazing Salvador Sobre, I think his name is, and this is a picture of the singer with his sister. Yeah, Salvador Sobral, his name is. Sorry for saying stuff wrong. Salvador Sobral, he was really good. He was. I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing everything wrong now. But he was so good at the stage, and he's so cute and adorable. And his sister is so nice. Like, those two are probably some of the nicest people in Eurovision this year. And I'm very happy for Portugal for winning. Anyways, guys, what was your thoughts on Portugal winning Eurovision Song Contest this year? Personally, I think that yes, they deserve a top ten, a top ten placing or top five placing. But I, I preferred Italy and Bulgaria. But they were really good. Really, really good. Like, all of them were really good. So, it was a good year. And, uh, again, my favorite ended up sixth. One of my favorite ended up sixth. No, one else like it ended up sixth. Now I know how people feel when they were like, Johanna deserved to win in 2009. Now I understand. But, come on. Portugal was good. Portugal was really good this year. So, I think it was deserved. Yeah. Huh? Okay, so I had to go and fix something. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all later, and bye!